I think I'm gonna get a chow fun. Uh, what's a chow fun? It's, uh, it's a broad noodle. What do you mean a broad noodle? It's a big flat noodle. Well, I don't want a big flat noodle. Well, what kind of noodle do you want? Who says I want a noodle? All right, look, I'm getting the chow fun. You don't have to have any. Never in my life have I ever had pan-fried beef chow fun. You guys, welcome back to my food journey on the internet. Welcome back to Hey Sean Ely. I love eating new stuff. I love trying things I've never eaten in my life. Chinese food, one of those cuisines, I've kind of stuck to the same like five or six things over the course of my life. Beef and broccoli, General Tso's chicken, orange chicken, Kung Pao chicken, sweet and sour chicken. But today, beef chow fun, a staple Cantonese dish, meaning dry fried beef beef shahi noodles made from stir frying beef and using hor fun wide rice noodles and bean sprouts. And on this vlog, I don't just back my ass up into greatness. I got people looking out from the backside. Today, Homer Shu, Jade Court, Hyde Park, the spot we got this from, thanks to Homer. Beef chow fun. And I'll tell you what, I'm already having a damn good time. Homer, let's get after it. It's like I knew what it was gonna taste before I even ate it. <laughs> it's work, you understand? You're doing what you love to do. Such tender cooked beef. The noodles are fantastic. Everything is just drowned in that sauce in a good way. It's, everything goes together. It's like a tender bite. The meat and the noodles just kind of all cohesively act as one unit. Shout out Rice Kitchen, East Lansing, Michigan. The place that hooked me on American style Chinese food. It was the dinner combo, it was like 650. It was a big heaping pile of General Tso's chicken with fried rice, crab meat rangoons. I'm pretty sure delivery was like free. To the norms, baby. This is absolutely fantastic. Like most of the time when I get Chinese food, I always want there to be more meat. Like there's so many noodles and there's like kind of a scarcity of meat. I want like quadruple the meat. Sean's vlog. We have the meat. <laughs> but we don't. Mm. You better believe. What am I not gonna get an egg roll? Yep, doing everything right. So this beef chow fun, very commonly found in yum cha restaurants in Hong Kong. I got a lot of beef lo mein too in college. High school me would have been so scared of sprouts. I really didn't eat Chinese food till college. My parents never ordered it. Nobody cares, Sean. Got soy sauce here that was delivered. Try a little bit of that. And this egg roll. It's funny, I really don't get Chinese food during the week. Very much a weekend or a Sunday night thing, which is also the weekend. Nobody cares. I am digging it. Here's some sweet and sour. Oh yeah, real gelatinous. Might as well go for it all. Mm. Homer, I couldn't be more appreciative of you right now, my dude. I think we all have something on Chinese food menus that we've thought about getting. Like I did Egg Foo Young for the very first time on the vlog too. And man, the deep following of people that love that came out and shelled out in the comments. Good to see ya. Egg Foo Young. It's damn good. I'm sure it'll be the same with this. What is an item on a Chinese food menu that you've just always scrolled past or see it on the board and you just never order it? I'm so glad I'm finally doing Chow Fun. Long time coming. Is that good? Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Yeah. Good idea, whoever said that. Homer shoe. The shoe. Um, ooh, okay. <laughs> I forget. So yeah, kind of a twofer of entree. You guys know what this is? What do we got here? Honey glazed barbecue pork. Not the most appealing looking container of food by any means. Never had this in my life either. Mm. The honey, man. Mm. I'm a big pork guy. Chinese food, a cuisine that I don't really eat a lot of pork in. I'd love to chop this up, put this in like a fried rice. Mm -hmm. Flavor is delightful. Homer, come on, man. Put a few little slabs of this on this plate. It's neat because if I get Chinese food, these two entrees together, I mean, one, I'm not ordering these two at all. And together, and that being it, do a little bit of beef chow fun and some of the pork. I didn't pick what to eat, but I can choose how to eat it. Hmm. What a proverb. Mm-hmm. Hey, Americanized Chinese food, you want to meet El Salvador? 
What? Why not? Trampa de Chucho. <laughs> I picked this up in San Salvador when I was there. This is like the hottest hot sauce in the country. Let's do a little bit of this. <laughs> we haven't tried it on Chinese food yet. It's gonna hurt. That good hurt. <coughs> so good. Got some on the pork. Oh God, I got hiccups already. Oh God. Stuff will get you. A dog will bite you. I wonder who makes the best General Tso's chicken in Chicago. Like I feel like I haven't even had a really, really good one yet. I watched a documentary years ago, like all about the history of General Tso's chicken. It's fascinating. I also watched American Nightmare. Very different documentary. Yeah. That's what you'll be doing to the screen when you watch it. Unless you're a big fan of the Vallejo Police Department. Overall, it just absolutely slays. I got Allie mushroom egg drop soup. She loves egg drop soup. EDS? Holy hell, dude. I, get a, I can't even stop it with that. That's just was stupid. I think beef chow fun is better than beef and broccoli. Also, the lack of like a really heavy veggie, you know? <laughs> when you eat Chinese food, you're not thinking like, oh, I'm gonna get my vegetables today. Like, there's ways to do it. Homer gave me some. I just didn't abide by that. <laughs> I had a very nutrient-dense breakfast, so I'm gonna have a little fun tonight. Damn, that's good. I love how they sear in those walks in Chinese food. It just looks awesome. Like I always say, if there's any weird foods from different countries that you wanna see me eat, that's what the vlog's all about. The Venmo, the PayPal, the Cash App. I'll make a whole video trying a new food I've never had in my life. Is there another Chinese noodle I haven't explored yet that would be fun? Big noodle guy. Let's go noodling. That's not... <laughs> yeah! Hey, you're not gonna get skunked. Yeah, buddy! And as always, the Roy Boyle fan club, people that donate five bucks a month to this show. My mouth is still on fire. I appreciate you, my board of directors. Name on the screen in every video. Sign up below if you'd like. Support creators. <sighs> Sucking air. Are you loading up Microsoft DOS over there? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I need some milk. All right, well, I slam that. For the very first time, pan-seared beef chow fun up. For the very first time, pan-seared beef chow fun. Down. We had a good time. And hey, look, you even get a little bonus. I opened up some fan mail earlier, and I'm going to close out the video with that. Because not only was the food in a good, put me in a good mood, this will also put, just cue it. Whoa, a ravioli making kit. Holy ravioli! I saw you two making faux nuts and thought you would have fun with this. You two are so perfect together. Much love, electric sister. What is this? It's a ravioli making kit. Difficulty level medium. I love that. Make your own gourmet ravioli with por porcini mushrooms and truffle oil. Hell yes. Oh my God. This is so cool. Look how beautiful the branding is. Electric sister. Oh Look, and there's wine and beer pairing. Chardonnay and Pilsner. Well, this will be an episode. That's just great. I'm so excited. Whoa. One bite pizza koozie. Saturdays are for the boys. Barstool sports hat. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Crew neck sweatshirt. What is in this? Oh, it's a kitchen utensil set. Barstool, oh my God, do they have merch. Oh, it's like full on. Tongs and a whisk, spatula, spoons, Barstool Sports branded. This is such nice stuff. And then a Vineyard Vines, Barstool Sports long sleeve. Jeez. Got an email from David Demanchik who said he was sending all this stuff off of a Poshmark website. David, thank you. Electric Sister, thank you. I haven't had an orthodox career and I can't deny the fact that you like me. We got there. Like where you come from, baby, I'm trying to slide, make you mine, waste my time, little baby, you are my mind, all the time, trying to find my lady, and I'll be standing back in line, that's where you'll find me, baby, I hear my credit card swipe, calling your phone all alone every night, trying to get you over, let me lock those lights, nah, baby, you just my type, whoa, wait, that's a typo, I know, yeah, you a Canadian side. Did you really think I was going to leave you hanging? You need not worry about your future. Well... When you're a YouTuber, you do need worry about your future. <laughs> I might play these numbers though. 1, 9, 35, 18, 52, 40. I'm leaving tomorrow to go 
on a, my first vacation in many months on a cruise with my brother. See you when I get back.